So it's intercool the time. We finish off the, the piping. Remember that box there? Yes, now we have to fit that onto there, um, onto the gets. Now, um, I don't know if I like the color blue of the silicon joiners. Um, I might swap some out. Now, I do have some black ones. So these kits you can buy on blue or black. I don't know if I did the mistake in buying a blue, but um, shouldn't really cost us anything if I'm actually swapping things out for pre-existing bits I have. Um, but let's just get onto the car. We got a few ways of how we can route the air. I'll, I'll show you guys. And yeah, when it comes to the intercooler piping straight to the photo body, I personally think you got two, two versions of it. One, okay, I'll put both pipes here just, just to show you. One, basically right up from the, from the intercooler, bang, straight into the throttle body. Should have clearance for the battery easy and for the bonnet. Two, basically you just route it here where the factory airbox was and the resonator was down low. Should come out here, right into the 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 intercooler. Now I'm I'm gonna play around with with both options. One of them can be made more into a sleeper look if you run it in the factory airbox and you cut out the factory airbox. There is a bit of playing around, stuffing around with that. I'm just gonna get in there. Do the most easiest, but still serviceable for things like spark plugs and all and all that stuff. So you don't block yourself in. No time to waste. Let's get that intercooler going. Okay, so I'm mucking around with it. At the moment, the easiest option is to actually, um, I'll show you, to pretty much just cut up. Now, um, each, each to their own. Now, I have experimented with coming through here, and I might still do that, but you got to know that you can only cut the pipes once, obviously, through, and, um, and I'm worried I'm going to cut, 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 and then I'm going to get here. Um, try to go that way it's just going to be pretty just shit in general now as for what's coming off the turbo it looks like it might be a loop i still got to somehow uh, make it to there where that silicon joiner is and i don't want to block let me just show you i'll put on an angle the intake of the turbocharger see it there hello so um just a few things roadblocks but um I'll do my best to keep it looking good and sort of practical if you have to ever remove pipes to get to something in the engine bay. Um, yeah, and yeah, only get one cut. So I'll keep going and we'll see what the final product looks like. Now, I'm going to ruffle some feathers here, uh, but you know how there's always that, um, whatever you call it, they roll a lip on the pipe. Now, that's good. Works. I understand the science behind it, but 
when you cut your pipe without it, it should be all right. Um, good. F I've run this in the past on cars, uh, around 15 pound boost, 14 pounds, probably the limit, I think, because I've heard of like these coming undone at like 18 and 20 pound boost. You might think, oh, but boost is different relative to turbo, but no, boost is pressure in the pipe. And generally speaking, is um, yeah, it should be okay. So don't worry about rolling the lip and oh, how am I going to get this done now? By the time you get all that stuff in the machinery, now it's not worth it. On this thing, I'm not going to be running high boost anyway. So just a little food, food, food for four day. Eh? Um, and if you don't believe me, just try it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I I haven't had one come off, and um, and as long as you use a good clamp and you've got some good like silicon on there, you're not just you know on the edge of like five mils. You should be good. Dun, dun, dun. The hot side of the um, turbo has been done, the intercooling part, I'll show you. Now, we've decided to, to obviously go from the top there, um, sorry about that loud voice there, I don't know if you guys can see that, that goes in there like that, it's a bit, now, I'll show you from the, from the top, it'll make more sense. Now, we have decided to do that loop, goes up, goes down, goes around, that rhymes, and um, yeah, right there. Now it's time to do the cold side. I think the cold side, we're going to just go for the loop around and hopefully go through here. And um, yeah, hopefully that doesn't take as long. They are a bit hard to get to some of the clamps. A lot of the clamps needed rotating to make things fit. And you got to think as well, when you put in a clamp, if something ever happened, can I take this back off? Because a lot of the clamps, you do them outside the car and then you, you put like those two pieces in there. So a bit of thinking there, but I think I should be okay because I did like test run some of them. So now we'll do the the cold side and then that's the intercooler done. Right. The interval is done. Um, I'm going to take the cold side pipes off and to clean them up just to make sure there's no um, bits of aluminium. Let me show you what I've done. Now, um, it does go from the f from down here, loops, goes back up. Yeah, you can see that pipe, there's no clamps on there yet. And it comes out here. Yes, I have put a provision for a blow valve. Now, um, I'll tell you why. Uh, it's easier to put one in and put a block then try to put one in in the future and blow valves are cool if you don't have flutter if you have flutter which i might be able to do depending on the air the, the air intake i can fit then i might go that way but you can go into the science of how it protects the turbo and blah 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 valve look i'm just putting it in there i, I bought one it was 20 bucks i think or 25 bucks so it's a pretty cheap setup um I will show it to you in a second. Like I said, easier to put it in there, get rid of it in the future than the other way around. So this is the blow valve. It's a standard, it's got, I think it's, it's 25 mil. Um, I say it's standard because these, that size comes on like um, um, Audis and that. It'll probably go like this or like that. I don't know, whatever. It, um, it'll keep it away from the heat. It is, like I said, it's cheap enough to put on there and get rid of. 
in the future by just putting a, a, a block on the silicon T bit. But yeah, um, that's good. I've done the intercooler. Um, now for either the air intake or the exhaust or um, so I'm going to do one or the other but I think we should focus on the intake so then we're all done in that section if that's the best way to put it so yeah we'll just keep pushing ahead it's a good day today this is my air filter of choice it is 25 bucks it is cheap nasty and it comes with th these ring adapters which will allow me to put on the two and a half inch pipe because the intake on the turbo is 76 mil which is pretty much three inch but we don't have the room for that we actually barely have room for the air filter there's no point me babbling i'm just going to get in there try to do it and i'll and i'll show you what i what i get up to i guess And just like that, we got an, an air intake or cold air intake, actually, because that should sit in the guard where the bumper is. So that's pretty cool. They'll close up like that. Hopefully, there's no tapping. Um, that can be moved a bit if we had to. Now, um, underneath the car, I sat there trying to do bends and all this stuff, and pretty much it's worked out very well. It's pretty much just dead straight. Just a pipe, dead straight. Follow the intake all the way to the turbo up there. Now, that's pretty cool. Um, if I don't put the blow valve, there's going to be hopefully a lot of nice flutter noises um, or those or whatever people want to call it. Um, so now we hit the engine bay, do all the vacuum lines and all that stuff we have to, all the boring bits, but the but the bits that make the car work let's just go over the oh, um, the board what we've paid for everything now the intercooler was 120 from ebay piping kit was on sale i think it was after pay or some 20 percent automotive sale that was on ebay 90 bucks 62 but the blow valve and silicon t for it was 3808 the air filter was 25 bucks don't forget the air filter we use the the piping from the the intercooler kit that was left over the extra silicon joiners i needed were 60 bucks that includes one of the turbo charger and and it, and it was a few bends just get them online from aliexpress or wherever you can get most cheapest i think they were from aliexpress most of them anyways 333 dollars and 70 cents fully fitted now this is where the danger happens now if you want to add up everything we've paid so far Fourteen hundred forty-three bucks and one cents. We're in real trouble when when that's all you have left from a two-grand budget. But the swear jar rating is five out five out of ten. Now, here's some advice, and whether you take it or not, um, let this settle in for a second. The the turbocharger sees two and a quarter worth of exhaust from the manifold. The turbocharger then blows two and a half out of its bum hole. It sucks in three inch and blows out two, uh, two inch. And the intercooler itself is two inch. Now, the throttle body on the gets is two and a half inch. My best advice is get yourself a two inch intercooler kit. At least half of it will be a lot easier because then... If this was two, if these were all two inch pipes or, or, or at least the so called hot side, we'll have so much more room, so much easier to, to work with. So that's my stuff up. That swear jar rating would have been may, uh, maybe four out of ten. But um, I do think, future, if you guys did do it, get a, a get two inch piping. You won't outflow it anyways. And if you really wanted to, then go two inch on the hot side and then. On the cold side of the intercooler pre-throttle body, then go two and a half inch. 
you are going to gain at least an, an inch worth of space between all the piping. But other than that, I'm actually pretty happy. It actually looks like pretty good. Now, like, like I said, we just need to fit the blower valve. That is like not even a minute's work. And we'll, and we'll just keep pushing ahead. And that budget, wish me luck because we're in real trouble. <laughs>